Hey guys, it's Nick, and we're going to do a little bit of a Dumford type of video today as I rank all 32 NHL road jerseys from the 2022-23 regular season slash postseason. So we're going to rank all 32 NHL road jerseys. Why I'm doing the road jerseys before I do the home jerseys? Well, I'm doing it this way. It's because road jerseys can be a difficult subject. People like them. People hate them because they're just a white jersey. If you can make a good looking white jersey, you have a really good looking road jersey. It's sometimes harder to make a good looking road jersey because all 32 teams have a white jersey. So making a road jersey is a little bit more difficult in my opinion. Because every home jersey is their primary color. So I have some rules into this. But first, I want to make sure to have you guys know that we're on pace to reaching 1,000 subscribers as we are only at 943 subscribers. No, 963 subscribers as of the time of me recording this. Let's try and reach that 1,000 subscriber mark by draft day. That's only 11 days from now, but it will be an awesome uh, part to do it. So let's try and reach that goal and get to the channel spot. But... Let's get back into the main part of this video. Ranking all 32 NHL road jerseys. Well, I do have a rule in place. If you have a jersey ad, it could hurt your ranking. In my opinion, jersey ads should not be a thing. They do kind of take away from the pure aesthetic of the look of the jersey. That's how I view it as. Especially how we looked it at the Stanley Cup final with how Vegas wearing their ugly gold jerseys and Florida wearing their uh, road jerseys with the jersey ads. It kind of hurts because they had to move patches to the wrong spot of the jersey. So there are rules in place because of this. The jersey ads take away from the look of a jersey in my opinion. Luckily, Chicago doesn't have that. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of teams for road jerseys that don't wear jersey ads. So there's some rules in place. So let's get into this ranking video, shall we? So let's start with 32, and that being of the Anaheim Ducks. As you can see, it's pretty uh, much of a bland jersey at this point. It's a jersey from the Reebok era. Personally, I'm a fan of the Reebok era, but there are jerseys from that era that were horrible. And this is one of them. The Ducks having the weird vertical stripes going up the side. Um, the logo. The jersey is dated, and it's not dated well. In my opinion, it's time for a change. And I think they might actually finally be doing so this offseason. So, Anaheim at 32. On to number 31. And well, it's the Washington Capitals. As you can see, it's another one of those Reebok era jerseys run amok. It was not a good jersey from the start. It's still not a good jersey to today. It's a jersey, honestly, it's time for the Capitals to consider rebranding. Especially after them now knowing how well their two reverse retro jerseys have done. I think they we probably start seeing them switch over to the Screaming Eagle, probably closer to when Ovechkin decides to hang up the skates. This will always be the Ovechkin era jersey, their jersey they won the Stanley Cup in, but frankly, it's still a bad jersey. At number 30, it's the Carolina Hurricanes. The jersey, when it was released in 2019, it was terrible. Just seeing the word Canes down the front, not having their actual logo on the front of the jersey or on the shoulders, using their alternate logo on the shoulders, the jersey's not good. Especially with the addition of them using red helmets, red gloves, red pants with it. I think 
it's not a good jersey. And frankly, I could I think they need to fully rebrand their entire uniform set because their third jersey, their uh, home jersey, and their road jersey do not match. Normally, this is a jersey ranked number 32, but when going through the rankings, I put them at 29. The Nashville Predators have the worst uniform set, one of the worst uniform sets in the NHL. And, well, the yellow does not help. The jersey is just not a good look. It looks more like a practice jersey than anything. Nashville really does need to consider a rebrand by going back to navy blue as a primary color and the yellow as their uh, secondary color. I just think they need to look into rebrand. This is where jersey ads hurt. As I said, jersey ads are going to cause uh, jerseys to fall in their rankings. And well, the Florida Panthers road jersey is very much in that class of getting hurt by jersey ads. And seeing it in the cup final, it looked bad because the cup patch, as you can see in the picture of Kachuk, is on the wrong side of the jersey because that jersey ad pushes it over there. They also wore the all-star game patch on that side of the jersey as well because of that jersey ad. It does not look good. Jersey ads do hurt the look of jerseys except uh, just pure uh look all right another team with a jersey ad but it doesn't hurt the jersey as much the jersey's usually ranked around this side for me i always have the uh columbus blue jackets around the bottom rankings and well they frankly need to do their canon logo and this jersey's a little bit dated, just not in a good way. It's a time for a change for the Columbus Blue Jackets, I think. So, at 27, we see the boring Blue Jackets jersey. Another case of the jersey ad hurting a jersey. Granted, it's time for a rebrand, and it sounds like the Jets are going to be rebranding this offseason. So... The way the jersey ad looks, it doesn't match anything on the jersey. It's a big red patch in the middle of the jersey. It doesn't look right. I get it. There's red in the logo of the Jets, but it does not help the look of this jersey. Also, the Jets wearing this jersey since they relocated from Atlanta. I think it's time for a change, and it looks like they're going to be changing next uh, this coming season. On to number 25, and it's the St. Louis Blues. I think their jersey is mid. It's not the greatest. It's not the, up there. The jersey ad does hurt the look of the jersey. I would say usually it would be ranked around 20 to 20 uh, to like uh 19, like 20 to about 17 in the NHL. But the jersey ad being the way how big it is on that jersey, it kind of hurts the look of the jersey, I think. And that's why it's at 25. On to number 24, and that's of the Arizona Coyotes. This is an example of a jersey stuck in the 90s. It's really busy, and, well, that's how the Coyotes want their jerseys to be. Their older ones, in my opinion, looked better when they, when they switched and added black to the jersey. I personally like those eras of Coyote jerseys more than the Kachina era. This jersey does not have a jersey ad, but I always have it kind of in the bottom tier of the NHL. All right, another example of a jersey ad hurting the look of a jersey, and this is the Minnesota Wild. The color of three different colors of the jersey ad on that patch kind of hurts it just because they don't match the jersey at all. The uh, look of the jersey, it's a good jersey, but I think they could do something special by changing it up a little bit by using their cream as one as the base color of the jersey instead of using a white base. I think that will make a more unique look to an NHL jersey on a road side. So I think the Wild should do a, a couple tweaks or switch to their North Star inspired themed jerseys if they did that. It would be they would be in the top ten. Now this is an example of jersey ads 
not hurting a team because they don't have a jersey yet. It actually helps them. The Kings, in my opinion, usually have one of the worst uniforms in the league, but they changed up the gray on the jersey a little bit to make it more of a silver flake, which is nice. But I still think they need some purple in their color scheme, and I think it will be a better looking jersey. But at number 22, I have the LA Kings because they don't have a jersey ad, and it kind of helps that look of the jersey. Just like the LA Kings, I have the New Jersey Devils at number 21 here. Just because they don't have a, well, the Jersey ad fact, they don't have one. And it usually ranks lower when teams don't have Jersey ads. The reason why this one's a low, on the lower side of rankings for me is the fact it doesn't have waist striping. And I personally think their jerseys they had before switching to Adidas or better looking jersey and that's why I have the Devils at 21. At number 20 is the Boston Bruins. Out of the original six teams this is usually the lowest ranked team in my opinion just because I'm personally not a fan of black and yellow color schemes so that's why I kind of have them rank this low but also they do have the jersey ad as I'm beating it with a dead, a beating almost like a dead horse with a stick at this point. But it is at this point a um, thing. I'm not a fan of how jersey ads look to jerseys, especially how we saw with like that Florida Panther jersey earlier. All right, on to number 19, and it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. This one kind of surprises me how high it ranks because... It's usually lower in the rankings because it's a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. In my opinion, I get it. Tampa's now used this longer than the current Toronto Maple Leaf jerseys, but it's still a Toronto Maple Leaf jersey. When you see the Maple Leafs and Lightning matchup, it looks really bad on TV. And, well, it's not a good-looking jersey, in my opinion. I think it's time for them to change and go to their reverse retro 1.0 and make a white version of that. At number 18, I have the Dallas Stars. I just think it's a clean jersey. I'm not a fan of the shade of green, green they use, but I think it's a good complementary jersey color when it comes to how they do this jersey by the striping. They might want to get rid of those uh, perforated numbers. It would help that jersey, in my opinion. But it's not a bad jersey. It's not the best jersey. So that's why I have it at ranked number 18. At number 17, it's the Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights. Their white jersey, in my opinion, is better than their home jersey. Fact is it doesn't have a jersey ad also, but it's not as gaudy as that um, home jersey of theirs. I think this white jersey is good. How the, they complement with the gray, the gold, and the red on it with a little bit of black in it, it works. It's a good looking jersey in my opinion. All right, up to number 16, and it is the Toronto Maple Leafs. And well, I get it, they have a jersey ad, but it's like a kind of meme at this point with it just saying milk. So, it kind of hurts the jersey in its way, because it also looks like the Lightning jersey. But, it's still a classic look, in my opinion. Even though that jersey ad still needs to go, in my opinion. But, it's not a bad look. It's a classic, it's the Maple Leafs. On to number 15, and it's of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, I got to see this jersey in person this year against the Blackhawks, and it was a good-looking jersey matchup. I personally think there's a little bit too much yellow in the jersey, but this is how that jersey's looked forever since they started wearing this jersey in the 90s and came back to it uh, in 2000. 16-17. It's a classic Penguins jersey at this point. At 14, I have the Philadelphia Flyers. This is a jersey I saw in person again this year at the last game of the regular season in the United Center against the Blackhawks. And well, 
it's not a bad jersey. I get it. The orange is really bright. It's going to be getting changed next year to a darker shade of orange. I personally think this is a good looking jersey. It's a classic Flyers look. And I think um, they probably just keep with similar template with this and go with a um, darker orange. But it's a good jersey in my opinion. At number 13 is of the Detroit Red Wings. This is a classic uniform by the Red Wings here. Their white one, in my opinion, is their better of their two jerseys they wear from their home and away. And I think it's a good looking jersey. It's a classic uniform. Whenever I see this against like the Chicago Blackhawks or any other original six teams, it's a good matchup usually. At number 12 is the Colorado Avalanche. This jersey shocks me how high I have it ranked. I usually, I'm not a big fan of the blue gloves and pants and when they switch to blue numbers on the jersey, but it kind of grew on me. But at number 12, I have the Avalanche here, and it's it works. It's a good jersey. It's uh, stuck in the 90s a little bit, but it's not a too busy, gaudy 90s look. At number 11 is the Vancouver Canucks. This is an interesting one here again. Like, I would have thought this would have been lower, but every time I went through the rankings, I did this ranking multiple times, and it was ranking around a number 11 spot, and it's not a bad-looking jersey. I personally would put white, uh, blue shoulder patches instead of a little white on it, but that's a little bit of a nitpick there. But it's a good-looking jersey, in my opinion. At number 11, Vancouver. At number 10, as you see, it's the Seattle Kraken. It's an interesting one. They're the newest team in the league, but made a really good jersey set out of the park. The color scheme with the light um, seafoam color with the navy blue and um, almost aqua color, it works. And I think this jersey turned out pretty well by Seattle coming out of the gate for their first ever uniform. So, uh, at number 10, Seattle. This is a jersey I feel like gets a lot of disrespect throughout the NHL. I think it's a classic look. I like the look of the New York Islanders uniforms. Personally, I they should never switch from their logo and uniform set again. This is their best look. It's the um, basically close to the... Um, 80s dynasty oilers not oilers islanders but it's a good looking uniform it's a classic it's the islanders at number eight is the ottawa senators another jersey i got to see in person this year and well it was a good one seeing uh brady kachuk getting ejected from the game also because uh him and Staylock were going at it, it was a kind of fun moment and I just think it's a good jersey. I'm glad they switched back to their original style of jersey. It's a little different than the 90s look, but it's a good looking jersey at number eight, the Ottawa Senators. Okay, at number seven, it's the Mo Montreal Canadiens. But you're maybe wondering, wait, I thought Montreal wears a jersey ad. They do, only on their home jersey. And they don't wear it on their away jersey. At first, before I ranked it, I need to look back and check. But they don't wear that jersey ad on this jersey. And I always thought the white Montreal jersey really does look good. If they did a um, stripe around the middle, like on their home jersey, I think that would look cool too. I like the look of the white Montreal jerseys. The blue pants complement the red shoulders well. I think this is a good jersey. Alright, we're up to the Edmonton Oilers at number 6. And man, it was so good to see the Oilers back in their original look. The Gretzky era jerseys should never have been changed when the Adidas took over. And the Oilers got it right by going back to it this past season. At number 6, I think it works. And the Oilers have a classic look and it's a good looking jersey. And I'm glad to see these jerseys back. 
All right, at number five is the San Jose Sharks. Man, they really, I think, made their best looking uniforms in their history this past season. They made the change to this uh, evolved look. That's what they are calling their new home in a way, as they're calling them evolved from basically mixing the two like eras of Sharks hockey with the old current logo on a older template with the old shoulder patches, the new number kit. The jersey looks good. There's also detailing in the striping. This jersey is a excellent design by San Jose. At number four is the Buffalo Sabres. I got to see Sa the Sabres in person this year against the Blackhawks, but they were wearing their ugly reverse retro 2.0s with all white pants, white gloves, and that jersey just sucked. If I got to see them wearing these jerseys in person, it would have been awesome. This jersey is a great looking jersey. It The way they kind of did the embroidery and the buffalo was excellent. They went back to their classic color scheme of royal blue, yellow, and white as their main colors from that uh, navy blue era with gray in it. It just did not work out well. This is their best look in my opinion, and the Sabres should never leave from it again. At number three is the Calgary Flames. Yes, the Calgary Flames are in the top three. I like it. I loved when they went back to these retro uh, jerseys. It should never have been changed in the first place. They went back to it. They got it right going back to it. These are good jerseys. So at number three, Calgary. All right, at number two is the New York Rangers. I've always loved the Rangers white jersey more than their home blue jersey. It's a good complement of red, white, and blue on it. The way they do the word mark of Rangers down it, the drop shadow. It's a good looking jersey. That's why at number two, New York's white jersey. With the best one having to be last to go up, and it's my favorite team, it's the Chicago Blackhawks. If they, When they had this collar, it would have been lower in the ranking. When they switched to uh, the current collar they have, it fixed the look. The chain stitching of the logo, the colors of the tomahawks on it, the numbers, the jersey itself looks perfect. And that's why the Blackhawks should never change the look of their jerseys and logo. The chain stitching works. The jersey altogether is excellent. That's why I have the Blackhawks Road Whites at number one in the NHL. And this is just a pure kind of homerish to me, but my bias kind of helps it with how this jersey is excellent. The uh, way they do the striping on the jerseys, it's a good look. And that's why at number one, it's the Chicago Blackhawks. Was there some bias to this? Yes. But, frankly, the Blackhawks do have the best road jersey. With how they fixed the collar situation from this toilet seat to the current one, it was a big fix. The Blackhawks do have the best home, oh, road jersey in the NHL. It's always great to see it when the Hawks do wear that jersey. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Who, What jerseys where you have in, in your top five road jerseys in the NHL? This ranking list was a little difficult to do just because ranking the road jerseys is a lot harder than the home jerseys. White jerseys are harder to drink, and that's why it's like that. So I want to hear what your thoughts are, and thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, let's go Hawks!